<laughs> Maisie's like, what happened? Hi, Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Welcome to Stitchy Fix. I'm Victoria. This is my mom, Chris. Hi. And this is Maisie Grace. Can you say hi, Maisie? Hi, Maisie. Hi. <laughs> and you are, are you free to Stitchy Fix? We are a mother-daughter duo who cross stitch. This is a channel about cross stitch. And this is our second anniversary floss too. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not the exact day, but yes. We are celebrating two years of floss tube channels and two babies. <laughs> two babies later. <laughs> two babies later, two years. Yeah, it's our two year anniversary, kind of. Ours is actually the sixth um, is our two year. But yeah, it's two years, which is pretty exciting. And um, we've just been having fun on the journey. Yep. We really, really have. expanded oh, yeah. <laughs> what we stitched <laughs> and what we know is out there. So that's been fun. Um, how have you guys been? Have you been good? I hope so. I hope you've been good. <laughs> Maisie Girl likes to say, I hope you've been good too, huh? She's so excited. She's Sophia, growing so fast. Yeah, Sophia is here, but she's napping. Yeah, we're really trying to... <laughs> Eliminate the amount of edits I have to do. Um, sorry, last one was not very edited for the year 2022, but um, hopefully this will be a little bit easier. Just with yeah. this little one. <laughs> yeah, who's very hungry and very active. Um, but yeah, I hope you've been well and I hope you bring in the new year with hope and joy and excitement for what a fresh start brings, which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. Um, we definitely did some New Year's starts, we'll show you, and I had fun, um, I hopped on the live to watch um, Kia B and Pam from Just Keep Stitching do their 12 by 12 on New Year's Eve, which I would have loved to um, <laughs> participate, participate in. in, but I was a little, a little, was a little busy. busy with these two ones, so that's okay. And it was your birthday. And it was my birthday. Thank you for those people who wrote happy birthday. That was very nice. Um, my birthday is often not, I don't know if overlooked is the right word, but it's New Year's Eve. So a lot of people are celebrating, they're just celebrating something different. <laughs> are you mesmerized? I think she is by the light. Do you like that light? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but oh yeah, and we're celebrating our two years on uh -huh. floss tube. Uh -huh. Chris wanted us to get 2,000 subscribers and we failed. It was a fail. No, if we didn't have a goal, maybe we wouldn't have even gotten closer. <laughs> Although we don't do anything actually to get no, subscribers. No, we don't. But if you are not subscribed and you're watching right now, we are gonna bring the content because we have a book of days, so we are committed we to are stitching. Committed. And if you can, we're using a new light, so my glasses make it look funny, but. I can't see otherwise. I tried that last video and I'm just squinting because <laughs> I didn't put my contacts in. All right. Well, we have a lot of stitching to show you. So sit down, buckle up, and get ready for some stitching, my friends. All right. Chris has a fully, the stitching is now fully finished, and she has a plan for the fully finished object. Right. So let us show you. I didn't bring the chart. That's okay. Okay. It's already done, so we know what the chart looks it's like. <laughs> Tiny Town Christmas. Tiny Town. Is that by Heart and Hand? Heart and Hand. Heart and Hand. And it is totally done. Okay. And the buttons are on, and the back stitching is done. And this is Under the Sea Winter Whimsy Opalescent fabric. Uh, 16 count. So cute. I love. So, I did research doing a drum because I do have a tiered tray. Oh, you told me you were going to do that, actually. Correct. However, you should change your mind. I changed my mind because I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this amazing, from the woodpile section, a wood sign. It says, wood sign with hooks. There you go. That's the big definition of it. And the number is two... Zero eight nine six nine six. So, I am going to have my daughter Lauren, who does like painting for us, paint this white, 
and I am going to fully finish my Christmas tiny town on here, which you will see when I do it. And then I am going to use this as a Christmas card display at Christmas because I grew up, my parents would put Christmas cards in like red ribbons and then put them on the wall. I'm gonna do that with the Christmas cards from these hooks and put them out each Christmas. I and then it. that's the, our Christmas town. It's our town of people and friends and it goes with it. I'm oh, so excited. she loves it's a story. <laughs> I know, I love it. And you know, hopefully I'll get it done sooner than later to show you and before I put my Christmas cards away, maybe I could see what it's really gonna look like. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but I like that it was nice and plain and Lauren's gonna keep the hooks black. Yeah, this so way we have some contrast, and I'm sure I'm going to put some boards and bows and junk fabric because I love fabric. But anyway, that's my idea. I love it. It, it literally is the perfect size. It is. So if you don't have the Christmas town, but you have the Halloween town or any of the other ones, yeah. this is a very good size. Yeah, and it's light. It's lightweight. Yeah, so it doesn't it hang on the back. Mm -hmm. Yep. I debated about using the magnet magnets to change them out but i just love the meaning of christmas town with the cards from all our friends and no i think it's fine yeah especially since like i feel like with christmas stuff you just bring everything out yeah it's like in the bins yeah well and here's the other thing i don't know if you guys remember if you watched in the last two years i finished happy halloween on like a long board that had a hanger with magnets so I went to pull it out and Can't i pulled it I, f I found the cross stitch yeah, but not the base board. piece so yeah yeah, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> That's okay. I there we go. That's, That's perfect. My finished stitching with buttons and exciting. On. Yeah. This I did. Patrick and I, you guys, Southwest failed me. Do you guys want to hear all this? I don't know. If you like us chitter chattering along, just let us know in the comments. If you don't like it, just let us know in the comments. But be nice. Um. Anyways, Southwest. I had so Patrick's gift from me was a trip. We were gonna go to Asheville, North Carolina, get away, no babies. So I booked on Southwest, and as you guys know, maybe, Southwest really did a number on the whole, <laughs> anyone traveling. So it so many people got canceled, in. and so the whole trip got canceled, essentially. So we really fast looked up another trip mm -hmm. that actually Patrick had purchased for me, unbeknownst to me, and we had both asked both grandmas to watch the babies, and they were like, we, check the we, dates. We knew that both, each of them had booked <laughs> secret trips for one another. On, on the, the same, same days. days. <laughs> and we, so Bakta and I did not want to disclose to either one. We didn't want to spoil anybody's surprise. Right. But we have all this knowledge. <laughs> and what to do with it. And so, what did I ask you? I said, I You should confirm the dates. I said, maybe you should confirm the dates. That So that was my way of not telling her. Because I said to Patrick, I said, I need you to be available December 28th to the 30th. And he was like, well, I need you to be available December 29th to the, or 27th to the 29th. And I was like, what is happening? And then we were like, okay, this is the jig so is tangent. Off. But he was like, um, does it involve babies? Like if we were bringing our kids with us and I said no and he's like, okay, that's the same for me He's like does it involve an airplane? I said yes. And He's like, okay yours is better <laughs> But then it ended up not even happening. So it was like the worst Possible scenario. So then we ended up just doing his trip essentially <laughs> A little he, shorter than your trip had been. Well, it would have been the same amount of days Oh, but slid. it just moved oh, okay. and that's why you didn't watch overnight because okay. it moved from Mimi days to Bapcha days. It was always going to be whatever. It's all good. Anyways, we did his trip, which is in the Wisconsin Dells. It's a place called Sundara, and it's a resort and spa. It's fantastic. And it, like, people say Wisconsin Dells, and they're like, oh, you're going to go to the water slides? It's, like, in the mount or, like, in the hills, secluded, very peaceful. Everyone speaks in a spa voice. You can't have your cell phone. It was fantastic. All that to say... This is what I stitched on when I was there. She had some downtime. I had a little bit of downtime. And um, I didn't like bring this into the spa. There's relaxation rooms. And people are like reading books or doing coloring. So I'm making really good progress on this. That looks amazing, Victoria. This is going to be like the piano. And then there's a cello over here on this side. So 
I have been really proud of myself. Oh, I forgot to show yeah. you. Sorry, this is uh, Little House Needleworks. So this is Little House Needleworks, the music store. This is a uh, stitch along I'm doing with Kef and Steph. And yeah, I think I made good progress. I'm using my Rika bag that um, Chris got me. Did I pay her for this? I don't remember. Um, got me when we went to Stitch West, which is like a portfolio style. I just really love it. I really love it. And so it has the clear vinyl, and then this is like a floss bed. So I've been sticking my floss on there. And I stitched in the car. So on our trip, we took... Um, we don't take this car often if we have the babies, but we took Patrick's Tesla. And so you have to stop, like you put your destination in and then it shows you where to stop to charge your car. And it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to charge your car. So you have to stop anyways. So I got some stitching in the car and then stitching while I was there. And that was really fun. So that was like 2022 stitching on our little getaway. And then I also um, have two new starts. I'll show you them while Chris is taking a phone call. So I showed you guys that I did the Brooks Books Grinch. And this has been sitting since I did that one. So like, I think I've had this pattern two years. Yeah, 2020. Um, but it's a freebie and you can find it on her website. And this is Brooks Books. Max the dog and you do it on perforated paper so one thing that was interesting is um, the Grinch was double-sided but Max is single-sided but that's totally fine um, and this is a complimentary design but I wish there was a Cindy Lou there's no Cindy Lou who <laughs> so I gotta start on that I am debating if I could figure out how to like flip it so it's double-sided like the Grinch one, but I might just be happy with one way. And so this is my start with my little hedgehog needle minder. So this is Max's face. That's what you're seeing there. And it's pretty small. <laughs> and I just uh, kind of like rough cut. I didn't measure. I just was like, that looks about four inches. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I've been working on that as a new start. And then Chris, as you saw in my last video, got me um, Afternoon in Rome. And I just was really hankering for a new start on the first. So that is what I started on the first of the year. So, and I did a middle start for that and I'm using Valkyrie um, fabric. So that was really fun and she brought me all the over dyed and I don't typically do this but I'm crossing every X with the over dyed um, because I want it to look like it's stonework right now so I want it to look variegated or modeled whatever you might say. So those are the things that I have been stitching on and now Chris will show you one billion things that she's been stitching on. Um, okay, so my new start for New Year's Day mm -hmm. was my Christmas project that Victoria gave me. So cute. Waxy Moon Designs. Christmas tree and I'm gonna do the top, I'm starting with the top one. There you go. Because Victoria gave me this 14 count opalescent fabric. And today? Yeah. Oh. Or what or maybe Jim did. Okay. <laughs> Victoria shop for it. It's all good. It's all it's great. I, I make out like a bandit. <laughs> I started in the middle just to like penalize myself for white on white. I mean like Are you gonna do like an edge? I'm like gonna I'm gonna do stitch? a back stitch once I finish everything else, just so it pops a little bit more. So that was my New Year's Day start. And you got your fangirl fiber on there? The new one. I do, that's my new one. And if you're wondering if we signed up for the new Disney Club, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the links down below if you wanna sign up for um, the new club. There's like, she's got several new clubs, but our, um, it's uh, Disney, Disney Attra Attractions. Yeah, um, okay, so then. And I used my new hairbrush like blow dry brush. 
that I got for Christmas. All my stuff fell. Then on day two, okay, so. So that was January one. Right, on January two, January 2nd, my son-in-law's birthday is February 2nd. Her husband, Patrick. And I bought this chart. Who she loves and adores. I do. <laughs> I bought this chart at Keepsakes? No. Nope. Inspired Needle, Crafty Framework? No. Stitch West, not Shepherd's Bush, oh. the other one. Oh, Craft Center of Fine Craft Stitchery. Craft Center of Fine Stitchery. <laughs> I was like, how many LNSs can I name? Okay, Silver Creek Samplers, Back to the Grind. Um, Patrick loves coffee. He's got a nice, really cool office in his home now. Mm -hmm. And these colors are going to be perfect. And I just thought they're perfect for him. Now, so she's trying to work on things for Patrick on the second. Things for Patrick on the second. <laughs> for his birthday. <laughs> for his birthday. Um, okay. I. You're not even going to be able to see that. That's the back. No. What? That's the back? Oh, my oh. back looks as good as the front. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You're not even going to be able to see that. I can't figure out the light. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, that's my start. It counts. And that was before work. Yep. What's this fabric? That is, oh, I know that. Get this. It's fiber on the whim, on a whim. Cappuccino. Yes! <laughs> it's, it's like great. washing it out a little bit, but it is pretty light. Yeah. Yeah. So that was December 2nd. Mm hmm December 3rd. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you yeah. did two on that day. I did two on that day, because that was before work. And then I got home, and Victoria and Patrick's, Patrick's anniversary is a July 2nd. And we know, if you've been watching us, that I'm working on an, uh, a wedding sampler. <laughs> They'll be married six years this year. Okay. But I am going to pick that up on the 2nd of the month as well and do it for two days. My plan is to touch it for two days, the 2nd and the 3rd. Oh. This is me making myself goals. Where'd the picture go? She loves goals. You just dropped it. Are you sat on it? Do you sit on it? This is what it will look like. It's a Janlin kit called Beach Romance. Which, if you see the left side, well, it's pretty much like full coverage. Yeah. These are half stitches right here. Yeah, but it's full coverage. And I, <laughs> here's where I am. I know it's an embarrassment, but I thought I was going to start out easy so I felt accomplished. Yep. So I had all the dark blue in here already, so I put the light blue in. So that was the second half of the second that I worked on it, and I worked on it a little bit before work. Like, I super love starting my day quiet in here with a cup of coffee. Beautiful. Sounds getting, like a dream to me. Getting a little bit of stitching in. And so. then look at the edges. This is the old school. Old school tape. Masky tape, Masking people. Tape. Write down in the comments. Is this you? Was this you? Okay. Masky tape. And that was only five years ago. And that's how ago. you taught me. Well, right, because that's what people do. I don't know, whatever. Anyway. Great So then I did that on the beginning of the third, the morning of the third. And then. And then. I went rogue. My <laughs> Which is what she does. All of the time. My stitchy friend Donna had to stop by work and asked me a question about a chart that we both have. The Rovaris Spring Chart. Because she is going on vacation and she wanted to make sure she understood some symbol or whatever. She brought her project bag in there. And I said, okay, if you're going to stop by, I'll bring mine just in case. So I have a reference of what she was asking me. Mm -hmm. So we both had our project bags at work. And literally, in my office, at work. We were Don't talking. admit to it. I'm oh, just kidding. It's all right. She's a very good customer. These so. are my birthday nails. These Those are nice. Don't they mind. Beautiful. Okay, so here's the deal. She inspired me because she's going to be working. Them. She's going to be working on that for her Florida trip. She's going away just to Marco Island. I am doing this on 28 count. Even we from Fangirl Fiber, one of the Disney Under prints. Under the sea, it was the Little Mermaid one. The Little Mermaid one. And if you recall, it's which you stunning. might know, Yeah. I use flosses for my stash and I use some specialty flosses. Oh, I can't stand it. It's so cute. I had only the S and the little P done. <gasps> Look! The, the little P, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not 
not love that 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 mo that variegated floss that I used for the um, word spring is tequila sunrise. Somebody asked me who it's from. Mm. This came in like a stitchy box, right? It was in a stitchy box from like what I had stitchy box before we had floss tube. Mm hmm. These are gonna be little birdhouses. Oh look at oh look at my nails on this fabric, everybody. <laughs> Yes, this floss was birthday nails. This was from Live and Die L A, mm -hmm. and it was dot com. Live and Die L A D Y E. Oh, I'm not gonna here put it up here. They saw it on the fabric. I know, but it's just amazing. Isn't it's it? just amazing, everybody. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So I highly recommend this color. Uh, yeah, and they have a website, Live and Die L A dot com. Right. So I went rogue on the the third, she that was yesterday, and rogue. stitched a ton after work. Now I must say, for as many stitches as I got in on the even weave, took me twice as long as on an Ada. Yep. Because I got it, yeah, I gotta get practice. And then, oh today is the fourth. Yep. So I have a new start. Um because why not? Right, why not? And also, the fourth is Zofia's birthday. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be something for Zofia. And last year I made a penguin uh, valentine for Colin, and this is the one I had purchased to make for Zozo. Zo Zo I don't know why it's called Penguins with Balls. I think it lost the translation from the Russian because it's balloons. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started that. <laughs> Lost in translation. <laughs> Just the little P. I started so like that, that on. This is um, fabric oh, down. flare. Fabric flare winter snow dots. Isn't that cool? It's oh, a 14 I love count. This it's from, fabric. It's from the Fat Quarter Shop. We were in the Ada Month Club. I don't know where we did a whole year, maybe for different 14 count fabric flares. So this is the center and there's a little girl bow. So and that was this morning. Good. I think that's all I've stitched for the first four days. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's all. Just a few things. And we're doing something new this year. Yes, we are. We're doing the Book of Days. Book of Days. I got it for Christmas from Victoria. I bought it for myself. <laughs> um, for my birthday though, Chris got me some stickers. And, and I'm just gonna show the sticker. Oh, that's a good idea. And Sorry, I can just it take one breath and then I'll tap them. Okay. So this was the first sticker I chose to put in my book of days. Dream it, wish it, do it. And these are my first three days of stitching. And you can see that I'm writing down the chart name, the designer, the fabric, and then if it's a new start, I do that silly thing. New start. So I've had two new starts. That's what my book of days looks like. What does yours look like? Not chicken so scratch. <laughs> Cursive chicken scratch. Cursive. We can't even read it. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm saying. There we go. Okay. So I wrote in what I did and maybe how long I spent on it. I did write the word start if I started something. And then I thought, because I was debating on how I was going to give myself goals. And I was debating about doing whip go, but I thought, mm, that didn't really feel like my jam right now. So I said, well, what means stuff to me? Like, or like, second. or like the first time Chris did whip go, I just said, I'll bake, <laughs> I'll bake cookies on that time. <laughs> okay, I didn't know how to do it then. Okay. Because she doesn't read instructions. Drive me bonkers. Or where things are shipping from. Or the size of the <laughs> stitch count. <laughs> These are all things Chris doesn't do. That drives me bonkers, but we love her anyways. Good. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I, 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 I did in pencil write down ways to approach the month that I was going to do. Like my, your little plans. My little plans. Which, it doesn't really sound, it's everything I just told you. Yep. On the second, do stuff for our anniversary. Fourth is Sophia. So I'm on the 50th anniversary, the Abby Sue designs. I have not finished it yet. On the fifth, you're doing that. I'm going to do that on the fifth. And then Christmas cross stitch week. Still happens. Still happens. And then Halloween week still happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me. I have a little amendment to the Christmas cross stitch week. I 
got that really cool four. What? Who made it? Four. The four <laughs> four project bags together. Oh yeah, Punky Pearls. Heather. Punky Pearl. She made that beautiful project bag for me that has four projects in it. Yeah. I happen to have four sets of ornaments that I have been wanting. I've started working on in the last two years. Mm -hmm. One for Victoria, the one for one. Lauren. Mm -hmm. um, one that I got that's like generic and, and they have a, a fourth one. Anyway, it fit perfectly in there. So on my Christmas cross stitch week, I'm not only gonna look, work on like one of my bigger charts. Yeah. I'm going to work on an ornament in that week. Sure. Because if I actually did that, I would be pretty close to complete. I would get at least three out of the four of the sets completed by December. Okay. That's because like I have like one of the four done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that kind of thing. And I haven't like fully finished, for instance, the Blue Christmas, which I'm doing for Victoria. I finished the first one. I've got like three quarters of the second one done. I'm not gonna fully finish all of the same group of ornaments until they're all done. Right. So in that strategy, I should be quite successful by next Christmas. Yeah. That'd Given Christmas was only a week ago from now, that's <laughs> we got three hundred and fifty-eight days. days. Right. So anyway, I'm enjoying it keeping me accountable. Yeah. Although I don't know, we have a lot of stitchy activities to write on today. Yes. And that ends <laughs> that is a good transition. Our portion of whips and finishes and our book of days. And now Oh, we also got two gifts. I just wanted to show these really quick because you might want these. These are from Debbie and Keth. Mom and I got these. That's so Kelly. We love them. Little bitty Lost boards. Them. Bitty boards. I think she calls them bitty boards. And it has a magnet in the little yes. logo. So cute. I love it. And them. then cozy up. And then what I like is, see the white sheet that in the package? Because I just opened mine. This is the first time I've seen Victoria in person in a week. Anyway. Not really. It feels like a long time. Anyway, that it had stickers for your your numbers down here. If you recall when I was doing um, <laughs> the costume party, I couldn't figure out how to use it. So I was like cutting the, the numbers of the DMC and taping them. Anyway. It comes with stickers. It comes with labels so you can change your numbers that you're using. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Debbie. Thank you, Debbie Kef. I love this stitchy things. Kef. Debbie and Kef? Right. Is that okay? Okay, so then, on today. So, okay, just a preface. Inspired Needle does not have a brick and mortar currently anymore. <clears throat> so we had to move on. So we went to Tomorrow's Heirloom. <laughs> we did. And they were so, so They nice. were wonderful. We had both babies. And they have two buckets of toys that they can play with. And Sophia did maybe like 30 minutes. She does excellent. I'm playing with those toys. Yeah. And then I brought out Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And, and she, she almost fun. didn't even practically need it. She was she, right. really, really, really good. good. And then Maisie woke up. Maisie was sleeping, and then she woke up and wanted to eat. So when we were just finishing up um, grabbing a couple of flosses and cutting fabric, I ran in the car and nursed her. But we went buck wild. Okay, that's so what we have this to This is our annual I Take Victoria to an LNS and Spoil Her event. Woohoo! And I let me tell you, they have got charts. Okay? Woo! I mean we could have. We did good. we could have. But we're going back in March for my birthday. Yeah. And we also got lunch at Chick-fil-A on, oh, on Mom and we got Starbucks and she said when we do her birthday <laughs> thing, we're gonna go to a steakhouse. <laughs> I said, okay, fine. So we go like, yeah, at least twice a year. And we've just kind of done this since I had the babies. Mm -hmm. We also didn't know. Because you were off work. Right, that's the only, yeah. And we had started floss too. Right. But we also didn't know that needle workshops existed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like we thought it was Michael's and Joanne's and Hobby right. Lobby. So this mm -hmm. is very new to us. It's not new after this past year. <laughs> no, we really hit them up. So. And we're gonna keep hitting them up. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is craziness. Okay, do you wanna show yours first? Cause we got all this okay. craziness. Oh uh, yeah, we'll show mine. Okay. Um, so while I'm there, of course, I don't buy just for Victoria. So I because get if you're gonna make the trip, <laughs> you make the trip again, again, and when we oh, were, and they were wonderful. They were like holding Maisie. We were the only people there for a long time. Right. Okay. 
like, um, you've heard, I know I was trying to think my lost a trip thought. Um, you've heard many, many people say on Floss Tube, oh my gosh, when you go to an LNS and you see a model stitched up, you have to have it. Like that does it for you. Um, yeah, we were just, I mean, we both had like, Found things. I need that, I need that, I need that. But I saw, and I have not ever seen the first hands-on design, a year of celebration. I saw it in person. It was done in a totally vertical piece. It blew me away. Kathy from Hands On Design. Oh my gosh. So, we already love Kathy. Okay. We hope she loves us. Um, she doesn't know who so, we are. So, I know. But I am going to start, I say start because you know, I cannot stitch all my stuff. A year of celebration. And I am going to finish, do it in, okay, this is really, I'm going to do it differently, like they did in the store, a tall, long piece. And I am thinking outside the box, I am doing it on 16 count linen. Is this linen? No. It's even weave. Yeah, it's 32 30 count. 32 count eek. It even might be, might or maybe linen. linen. Okay. I'm doing it on 32 count linen. Linen people and look it's got the little swiss dots on it okay i can't stand it the whole thing is going to be so fun and then because we're sitting I, there with the babies and everybody was so helpful <laughs> um they offered to pull the floss for me which i had that happen i was also holding Maisie in shepherd's bush shep bush yeah and they were so kind there that they also pulled threads for me when i bought a chart there well, they were so gracious and spent so much time. I got all the fancy floss except for three that they were out of stock on. Can you just to organize it? Here it is. <laughs> Here, let me put it on the back of this fabric. Can you see how amazing this is gonna look? Very bright. It's gonna be bright. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna feel successful because it's a bunch of little stuff that you get to complete. I'm so excited. There's I more. might have to amend my plans. We also just love the names like Watermelon Punch oh. and Clockwork Orange and what's this one? Chablis? Chablis. It's a wine. Oh! It's a French wine. Look at all these these over dyes. I know. It's like, so exciting. This is the biggest ticket item. Yes. Well, I don't this know how project. much. I don't know how much this fabric cost. Well, what? this pro yes, the yeah, whole project. Yeah, the whole project was the biggest Christmas. ticket item. Chris loves a big ticket item. No, I love that I was inspired. Is what I love. But we loved more stuff. We loved more stuff. Okay, Chris fell. is gonna show. Well, I'll, do, I'll show, show this. that one. Now I'm okay. Using that one. This one I got. This is a Brenda Gervais. I don't know if you recently watched. Rudolph and Friends. Oh, I should do Steph that. just finished this. Steph just showed this on their last video. She just finished it, and I thought, it's so cute, and then I couldn't believe I could find it. <laughs> She's twinning you, Steph. There you go. Isn't that adorable? With thy needle and thread. So, and she did that in a week. Okay. I probably won't get it done in a week. But Wait, if you, if that's like the only thing she stitched. So. Let's okay. Like Christmas start. And then... This Those one. You, then I then I got this one. I really, I can't figure out. I don't really stitch a lot of Valentines. I stitched no. one for my mom. Oh, that's right. I did change. I'll show you next week. Um, do you remember I had done a series changing for my mom? Yes. The what's in my cup? Well, I changed to the winter one um, this weekend. So I'll just show you next week. But um, I just the love heart and hand. Heart and hand, and I just loved. This chart, I just think it just it just is perfect. It's not. It means something to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Spread kindness. There you go. And there's a heart in a hand. I love it. She loves it. And, and it's got the little, felt and yeah. the button too. Right here. This is felt and a button. Very cute. Thank you. And then you got this for both of us. Mm -hmm. We have purchased these. 
We just need to stitch them. We didn't have the stitching one. So we got the stitching guy, one for me, one for mom, and the buttons that go with it. Mm -hmm. Little, th what is it, thimble? No. Spool. A spool, thread. spool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, so that's for you. Thank you. And then, got that? Yeah, so well, we both like this, but um, Chris thought she had bought this when it released at, I thought I had, but I couldn't find Meal it. Mealwork Expo? No. Summer one, which, which is the, the August one, yeah. So this is the, um, sorry, Primrose Cottage, and this is the Christmas Religious Trio, or Religious Christmas Trio. And I like all three of them, but I love this Silent Night one. This is what I sing to my girls at night. And then I got this fabric, which is 14 count. Oh, can you see? It's like gold. It's got like gold um, opalescent in it. Like gold chronic in it. Yeah. I just think it's so beautiful. So I got that to go with that. And it's like, again, if you have a hard time seeing things, which, hello, glasses, but Primrose Cottage charts are the easiest to read. Right, I think you got a piece of that for that one. Okay. No. This is for Shira. Uh -huh. Okay. No. I think this is all for this. Oh, one for the one yeah. and one for the other. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so then this series is new, and I, um, I, I just love them. This is the Big City uh, Country Cottage Needlework series. There's two out right now. This is the department store, and then the second one out is the theater, and I got um, two different colorways to stitch it on, so that's exciting. And then once I choose, I'm going to do all of them on whatever, separate, whatever. yeah, so individual, but all the same fabric. Right. I thought we got it for this. Mm -mm. Where's my other fabric? It's in here. Okay. Um, okay, and Here, then... No fabric, no fabric for this one. No fabric. I don't know when that stopped recording. We bought a lot of things. I should have warned you. Um, but this is another Brenda. Brenda! With I Needle and Thread. Brenda Gervais. This is called Best Time of the Year. And this set... And I saw the model and I was like, oh, I gotta have it. And this, um, says, have a holly jolly Christmas. I just, do you see this little Rudolph down here? With this little red nose. Oh my God, it's so cute in the Santa snowman. So cute. So I'm really excited to do that one. I know it's like not really do Christmas stitching now. Um, no buttons. Okay, we'll have to get them. Those oh. are the same buttons that are on my tiny tongue. Yeah, they are. And then this one, again, the model sells it. That was the first thing we saw when we walked in. And this is my, it's art, <laughs> motto. <laughs> because I don't, I don't like to frog things. Who does? I would just like to argue, who does? So, this is, um, say so you have a crossfitter's confession. Oh, this is, <laughs> With thy needle and thread as well. Wow. I really like oh, Brenda really? Gervais. Okay. Yeah. And this is says, um, just fudge it and carry on. <laughs> and there's a little frog. Can you see him? I just love it. And that's just like my motto because it's art. And this is what it was stitched on, which is like linen. advanced 32 count linen. Who do I think I am? But I'm going to do it, okay? <laughs> but it's so cool. It has all these like little stars and triangles. And she was so encouraging, the shop owner of mm -hmm. Tomorrow's Heirloom. She's like, if you want a tutorial and you want to come back, I'll show you. You can do it. I said, I like 16 count. She's like, oh, it's the same. And I was like, okay. <laughs> no problem. And I feel like it'll be better because it is mostly just letters in a line. You know, the only thing that's like a, a motif is the frog. <sighs> I just love it. I just love it. Did we get through everything? I think we got through all of our haul for one day. <laughs> well, it's like my birthday Happy haul. Happy birthday. 
It's very exciting, very, very exciting. And I'm very spoiled and lucky that we have a craft we like to share. Yeah. And Chris always says, there are worse things that we could do with our money besides buy cross stitch stuff. So there you go. That's all you so need good. to know. Um, okay, I think we have caught you guys up. I hope you love this. I hope you buckled in. It was a long one. Content, content. We're bringing you the content. We are bringing you the content. Um, yeah. So what are your plans for next week? Oh, well, <laughs> I just, my goal this whole year, since it's a new year, mm -hmm. I just want to stitch every night. So whatever pulls my little heart or is sitting out, I'm going to stitch that. Putting two babies to bed is quite a dance, if you will. Yeah. And um, I'm going back to work. We'll have one more floss tube before I go back to work. And so, yeah, I just have to survive for five months. Yeah. Well, I think our cross stitches also gives us a little bit of mental break. Mm -hmm. It's a different kind of activity. I also wrote down on my book of days, I would like to just stitch something every day. Yeah. I don't care if it's 20 minutes right. or we're dying soon. Do you want to show your plans because you're doing something like Pammy? Oh yeah. I'm just going to show you one, one thing that I know that I'm going to work on next week because I watched Pam and Steph and I saw that uh, Steph had given um, Pam for Christmas the snapshot January. She had kitted, she already kitted it up. Yeah. She already had the chart. So like Pam, I got the whole series. I did start this He's with like Pine Mountain. Pine Mountain Designs. I started with the Fat Quarter. I did it through Fat Quarter Shop when I got them all, and that is their colorway. And I'm using that colorway, which you can't. Oh, there you go. Let's see a little bit. That's their colorway. And Pam, this is for you. <laughs> this is how far I am. And this is, um, I was in the, or Victoria and I were in the Forbidden Fiber Co. Fabric of the Month, I think our first year. And this is one of, I think this is like acid wash. And such a cool color. Yeah. And so this is where I am. So I hope to have more progress on that next week. So I can finish it in the month of January. Well, we'll put that on plans. Yes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, great. Right. So. All right. Phew. <sighs> I hope you guys have a great day. And as we always say here, we hope you stitch as much as you want or as little as you want. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye. friends.